Hi, welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Justin Riley. I'm Jessa Jeremiah, and I'm excited to be here at Xander's. Yes, Xander's Interiors over here on Monroe Street. This is a really cool place. It is a great place, great colors. Lots of colors, and it's it feels very outdoorsy, although we're completely inside. Well, it is the season. It's summer. We're starting to think about some outdoor design yes. in our outdoor spaces, and we're going to talk to the owner later in the show about some great design ideas for yes. your outdoor space. Yes, very good stuff. And But first, if you are interested in finding out more about acupuncture and really finding out how that can help you in your life, you'll want to stay tuned because we're joined by Michelle from Isthmus Acupuncture. She'll be yeah, here. Yeah, we sure are. I've really gotten into acupuncture since meeting Michelle, actually. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk about my story a little bit later with her, but Absolutely fabulous team of folks over there. Yes. And it's really, really interesting how many things acupuncture can help prevent, help heal, get the body in balance. It's a really neat thing, so I'm excited to chat more with her. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be fun. Yes. Yep. And we're also going to be joined by uh, Victor and Michelle from Majestic Floors and More in Wanakee. And uh, their store's not open yet, but they're uh, looking New business. To, yeah, they're looking to open their doors uh, starting July 13th, and then they have a grand opening the following week, which is really going to be fun. So yeah. if you want to talk about some indoor design work that you can do, absolutely, they're a good place to You got to put go. the floors in before you can design the space, yeah, right? There so there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> We've got the full picture here. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I'm excited for today's show. I love being here at Xander's Interiors, and uh, glad to be here with you as well, Justin. Yeah, absolutely. This has been a, this has been a fun run so far. So yeah. We'll keep going. We're gonna I have a great show for you coming up right after the break. Please stick around for more Wisconsin Family. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are filming here at Xander's Interiors and we are very excited. We're gonna chat with the owner later. This is an impressive place. Absolutely, we're gonna get some great decorating tips for yes, our homes. Yes, I definitely need that for sure. So. Me too, so we're excited about that. Our first guest, however, if you've ever thought about acupuncture or wanted to learn more, we have the very best joining us today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you are just fabulous. This is Michelle Buchanan, owner of Isthmus Acupuncture, and we're just glad to have you here today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here, and I'm looking at shopping after I'm done. I know. I know. <laughs> Me too. I've already got things picked out. but. Michelle is fantastic. I actually met you on, on the set of Girl Talk when I was very pregnant and you told me a little bit about acupuncture, something I had never thought about before. And I wound up actually going and having a few sessions. Instead of getting induced by my doctor, they actually have induction acupuncture therapy. Wow. Yeah, and it's something I just never thought to do. But I went over, had a couple sessions with your absolutely amazing staff. Thank you. And I can't even tell you, I'm so impressed. I wound up having just the easiest labor. I didn't have to get induced. I felt great. Um, and I totally credit you, so thank you so much for introducing me to acupuncture. Oh, you're welcome. And yes, I, I saw, um, whenever I see a pregnant woman, I always let them know that our office specializes in pregnancy care and women's health. Yes. Just because a lot of people don't realize how great acupuncture is for pregnancy, you know, because it's a non-medicated approach to wellness. And I had my very first baby, I had a less than a four hour delivery, which is like unheard of for your first one. So yeah, and that's totally. what the studies have shown is that if you do acupuncture leading up to labor or to help with labor and delivery, the average time is like five hours. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so cool. Yeah. I even beat the average. Thanks, yes. Michelle. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, so let's talk, talk a little bit more about what you do. So for folks who haven't done acupuncture, just give us an overview of maybe why. What are some of the benefits? Yes, acupuncture can help on many different levels. A lot of times people don't really think about going to acupuncture until they're, they have a situation or a healthcare crisis. 
that is maybe not responding to more conventional terms, and they'll be like, oh, maybe I'll try acupuncture as a last resort. And that's fine, we're here to help people at any stage. And then what happens usually is they have really good results with acupuncture and they feel really good, that they start to think about it as a way to maintain their health mm -hmm. and more as a way to maybe put themselves in a better state to prevent things from happening. Okay. So a lot of times people, once they reach their healthcare goals, will switch over to more maintenance, kind of mm -hmm. like you do maintenance on your car. Sure. Like you wouldn't think of driving your car for 20 years without changing the oil. So a lot of times people will come in just to kind of boost their meridian system and get everything balanced and that allows the body to self-heal. And what's interesting too is the actual process is very relaxing and mm -hmm. people think of it maybe as kind of a scary thing. I didn't know what to expect yeah. my first time, but it wasn't at all. It was relaxing and wonderful. It was like going and taking a little nap. I actually fell asleep both times that I came. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's it's really a nice experience. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just kind of wondering, you know, a lot of folks are familiar with acupuncture. They've heard of it. They've maybe seen pictures or video or things like that. Can you talk to us a little bit about what it, how exactly it works. Yes. Um, acupuncture works on a couple different levels. Um, one is it helps to regulate the whole entire endocrine system, which is all your hormones. So like blood sugar, all the reproductive hormones, stress hormones. Um, so it balances all your hormones out. And then it actually works on the lymph system and areas of the body that creates adult stem cells. So a lot of people know about the hype of adult stem cells, and there's mm -hmm. research that show that acupuncture actually um, improves the body's ability to make adult stem cells. Wow. So that's how it does, um, it triggers a lot of uh, really quick healing is by pushing those adult stem cells. Um, and then it also works by just relaxing the body. And then um, there's a lot of different points on the hands and feet that will actually um, tell the brain to function a little bit differently and sometimes what you can do is you can trick the brain into doing quick healing by putting points on the hands and the feet. So there's a lot of different ways it works. Wow. Tricking the brain. Mm -hmm. Easy yeah. to do for someone like me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and let's talk a little bit about what conditions specifically, if people are, are suffering from certain ailments or conditions, are there certain ones that acupuncture is really good at helping? Yeah, that's a great question. That's probably the number one question we get at our offices, like will acupuncture help this or that? And acupuncture is made to work off of the meridian system, which is a little bit different than Western medicine. And based on that, we can pretty much address anything because we look wow. at it differently. So people can come in with back pain or like leg pain or shoulder pain, and we might treat all three of those conditions the same way because it's affecting the same meridian. Oh. So we can pretty much address everything. And then we do a lot with like digestive health and supporting that. Any stress condition responds beautiful to acupuncture. And then often um, conditions where you would think that it's a little bit more difficult um, to get to. Like if you take a pill or an herb, it has to go through the digestive tract, where sure. acupuncture can address like um, foot pain or something direct because you can put needles in the feet and it doesn't have to go through the digestive system. That's so interesting. Anytime that you can avoid to like having to take drugs or things like that, and go the natural route, I just think is fantastic. Yep. Yeah, more people are getting open to the ideas of natural healthcare, which is great. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for opening my eyes to the whole new world of acupuncture. I'm excited to get back and see you and make sure you go see Isthmus Acupuncture. Miss M Michelle Buchanan and her team are fabulous, so check them out. And stick around if home improvement is on your list. We're going to chat with Majestic Flooring right after this. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're here on location at Xander's Interiors on Monroe Street. Isn't yes. this a cool place? It's such a cool place. Yeah, Very it looks nice. so it's so much bigger on the inside than what you see on the outside. I That's know. Well, really even the outside looks it. cool. The signature yeah. orange door and all yeah. that stuff. It's just a neat place yeah. to be. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna our next guests are gonna talk to us a little bit about another type of interiors, flooring. We're joined now by Victor and Michelle Endress from Majestic yeah. Floors and More. Welcome, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, good. Thank Pretty you for good. having us. Good, glad to have you. So you guys, um, your store is not even really open. You, you have a location that you're opening up in Wanakee. Talk to us about the grand opening and when you guys are gonna be opening for business. Sure, um, we're actually, our grand opening is gonna be July 22nd, but we will be open for business on July 20, or excuse me, July 13th. Awesome. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So of course, 
we're starting to think about home decorating here in sure. Xander's, yeah. but we got to start with the flooring. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about your grand opening. Now, sometimes with the grand opening comes some cool sales. Are you guys doing anything for your grand opening? Yeah, we, we're having quite a few sales. Uh, there's actually too many of them to actually discuss in the time period here, but oh. probably the biggest and the best one is uh, we're going to have free pad and installation with select styles of carpet. Oh, great. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That's wonderful. Too many to, to get all in. That's, right. that's a good problem to have, <laughs> Yeah, it right? is. Yeah, it that's is. That's awesome. <laughs> so you guys not only are selling the carpeting, but you're offering the service to install it as well. Correct. Correct. Very cool. Very so cool. it's kind of a full service, yeah. one-stop shop One-stop shop. There you go. Neat. So, I mean, uh, you know, you have, uh, obviously you're not open yet, but what are your business hours going to be? Can you talk to us about that? Sure. Um, we will be open Monday through Thursday, 9 to 6, and then Fridays, 9 to 4, and Sun, or excuse me, Saturday 9 to noon. Absolutely great. That's wonderful. Well, good luck to you guys with the opening and let's talk a little bit about the actual product itself. So you're gonna have to talk to me, you know, fifth fifth grade style because I don't know a lot about flooring, but is there a certain kind of product that you're gonna be selling that you're you're very impressed with or that you'd recommend? Yeah, the ones that we're really impressed with right now are called luxury vinyl tiles. Okay. Um, there's many different styles out there. One is called Cortec One. Uh, it's 100% waterproof engineered floor. It is a floating floor mm -hmm. and it is also uh, environmentally conscious so it is Green Guard certified. Interesting. So it, it's a very good tiles. product. Vinyl tiles. That's yeah. what it is. Huh. Interesting. So that's an actual vinyl flooring that comes in in seg sections or how does it, that work? It either comes in 16 by 16 tiles mm -hmm. or 14 by 14 tiles or it can come in wood floor planking. Oh, interesting. Okay. And what was it that you said? It was Green something certified? Green Guard certified. Green Guard certified. What does that mean? Um, it's basically recycled content. Oh, okay. Um, oh, nice. So. That's very nice. Safe yeah. for the environment. Yeah. Sustainable flooring, it the sounds same, like. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. So, um, you know, uh, you uh, obviously, the name of your business kind of describes it all, Majestic Floors and More. Do you, uh, what's the more part? Talk to us a little bit about the more part. We have a cabinet line, a countertop line, and we do backsplashes. We also do custom um, area rugs. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. and, and we also do uh, custom showers, tile mm -hmm. showers, and so forth. Well, you guys are the really and more. Yeah. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Not just an afterthought. There's a lot of other, other services that mm -hmm. you offer, so that's wonderful. And let's talk a little bit about uh, you know some of the things, how, how you actually do this. now. You must have a team for all of this. We do. It's not the two of you all the time, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> so no. talk to us a little bit about that. Um, is this all your business and you've got a team that helps out or how does that work? Um, Vic and I started it in 2012 and we have a bunch of installers or a group of installers that we couldn't do it without. They are a great group of employees. Wonderful. And what does that look like from, you know, from a new customer perspective who, if they're interested in having some flooring done or backsplash right. or cabinetry, what does that sort of consultation look like? Do they give a call and have a, an initial meeting or what's the first step for folks? Um, the first step is uh, hopefully they can come into the showroom, take a look at the products and so forth or visit our website which isn't quite up and running yet. Okay. Uh, after they pick a product out, I, I usually go out, do a field measure with them, get the areas that they would like us to install in, um, give them a few suggestions. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, I would need just the to suggestions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So I'm curious to know, like, how, how, uh, how, how long have you guys been in this business? I mean, the store is uh, pretty young mm -hmm. so far, but uh, what got you into this business, the flooring business? Uh, I've actually been in the flooring business since I was 17 years old. Uh, wow. I've done everything from milling hardwood flooring to installing hardwood and tile and laminate uh, to selling it and now we have become our owners. So Wonderful. So yeah. so this store is new but not a new industry for you. You have you have mm. lots of experience. Uh, about thirty three years. Wow, that's fantastic. So remind us again, you're uh, open starting on uh, July thirteenth. Mm, correct. And then the grand opening is July twenty second. July twenty second. Yep. yep. And I'm you're up in to it. And you're up in Wanakee mm -hmm. next to... We're in the Wanakee Mall on Century Avenue. Got yep. it. Got Fabulous. it. Well, we look forward to checking that place out. Congratulations on your 
I'm assuming going to be successful grand opening <laughs> and lots of sales for us to check out as, as your customers. Yes, yes. So, uh, Victor and Michelle Endres, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. They joined thank us you. today from Majestic Floors and More, opening soon in Wanakee. We'll be right back with more Wisconsin Family right after this. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are still here at the fabulous Xander's Interiors, and it's been just wonderful to be here it's so great. far. It looks like there's like it's a very outdoorsy place here inside, which yeah. is kind of cool. We've got lots to talk about. This is a team that is highly sought after for their design and experience, yeah. and we've got nationally renowned owner and interior <laughs> designer Doug Xander now joining us in in your space. Thanks for having us here. You bet. This is great. So we're excited to talk to you a little bit more. Summer is here, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about design in the summer and what kinds of things are going on this time of year. What are your clients requesting? I think it's, it, because of the winters, um, right now everyone's kind of starting to concentrate on outside. You want to be outside as much as you can. You want to entertain outside. Yeah. So I think that kind of that all becomes very important. So we kind of go from being concerned about what the interior looks like to maybe being a little bit more conscious of what the exterior is. Yeah, absolutely. It's important to be outside as much as possible when we can. Yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely, especially in this state. Yeah, yes. really. So, uh, you know, a lot of folks are uh, obviously trying to design spaces for entertaining, uh, for outdoor entertainment. Um, I guess, could you maybe give us the top five must-haves for designing outdoor oh, spaces? Yeah, I think that, you know, you want to make sure that you have a comfortable space. Mm -hmm. um, so your seating, uh, you want to have, be conscious of, I think, of uh, giving it to be maybe a little bit more of a warmer environment, so maybe by rugs pillows and there's so much you know great exterior products now um, and it's nice to have some sort of a uh, feature whether it's a water feature or maybe a fire of some sort um, and then of course always music of some sort you know, it kind of that kind of brings that whole living well, ex interior to the exterior you know um, with all, all the needs absolutely so there's a lot of kind of crossover that's happening in summer. Yeah, I've noticed that yeah a lot and yeah. you know I think that's because of the just the whole mentality of, of being at home more uh, and wanting to kind of use all of your home not just the interior yes. and I think you know so many great spaces now uh, patios porches things like that um, and a lot of the products are being manufactured to be exterior use mm -hmm. but they really have an in interior look yeah and uh, whether it's the fabrics or even the styles of the furniture. Well, you want to be as comfortable outside this time of year as you get to be inside because it's so great to actually get to be out there. Right. So, right. absolutely. And are there any, let's talk a little bit about for folks who are starting to, to design their outdoor spaces, what are some maybe new things that you're seeing in the market? we got to pick your brain a little bit today here. Um, well, we're seeing a lot of um, Furniture that's actually looks like upholstered furniture. It's it's furniture that looks like you know a sofa you'd have in your living room, but it's manufactured in such a fashion that it can be used outside. Oh, that's so great. So it's both with the fabrics and the materials that they're using. So you really get a great comfortable look, mm -hmm. um, and but yet it's something that's going to hold up to the elements. They're really getting creative with that, being able to design these pieces for the exterior that are durable enough to be outside, right, right. but then that look like indoor pieces. Right. And, and, and you know, like and that holds true with you know, like the rugs that they're having for exterior use, mm -hmm. um, and the fabrics, you know, both for the upholstery as well as for pillows and things, too, make a big difference. Um, and they've really developed the pro uh, how they manufacture them, so you really are getting products that don't look like the uh, sombrella fabrics of you know 35 years ago. Yes, thank right? you for right. mentioning that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Right. But you also then you can leave them outside. And you don't Abs have to be yes. dragging them in and yep. out. Because I I remember those days too when you know we have company over being young in my parents' house or something, and you got to go get all the furniture and right. place it outside. Then you're done. You got to bring it back inside. Yeah. Right. It's kind of a, a ritual here in the Midwest. Yeah. Really. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you know, uh, kind of speaking on that. Um, you know, a lot of folks, they, they buy um, furniture and other things for outdoor use with the intention of, oh, I'm going to bring this inside. But are, there are obviously some things that can be used year-round now. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about some of that? Well, a lot of, you know, a lot, and it all depends on how you set, you're set up. I mean, a lot of people um, 
have porches, and you can use the porch, you know, now extended uh, amounts of time, depending upon how you supplement it with the heat and and protection from the elements. We're so, always trying to extend that use. Aren't well, we? yeah. and I think, and that's true because we know that <laughs> it's short lived normally. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that is uh, uh, really important, and that's cold true with like the furniture and stuff that having it more uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, fireplaces make a big difference in how you can ex. And the time element that you're there, and you know our our winter, our summers are can be cool, you know, at times even you know, and, and during the summer, so to be able to sit outside and have a fireplace that helps with the, the extending the time that you can be outside just with the warmth factor of it makes Absolutely. a big difference. And of course, the element of just the coziness of it. Absolutely, the warmth factor. I like yep. that. It's yep. important. Yeah, it's important it is for me it anyway. Yep. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your outdoors. Do you have an outdoor space? I do have start? one. What I, is Doug Xander's outdoor <laughs> space like? I have a uh, uh, porch that uh, was it, the house was built in '38 and uh, had an old-fashioned screen porch. And uh, when I purchased the home, I kind of updated it a little bit. I kept the screen system, uh, but I put a fireplace in and, um, and then converted um, the screens to have a storm system put on. Oh, so wow. I use my space pretty much year-round. I mean, um, you know, unless it's really sub-zero out, I can have a fire, it warms it up. Um, and it really extends that, that during the winter, it can be very fun to be out there with a warm, fire going and you have this light snow falling oh, and, and you really feel like you're outside but you know so yeah. that makes a big difference and I have the upholstered furniture uh, exterior use so that really looks like a living room that's sitting outside in your porch. What a cozy space and I love that idea of being out and being able to look at the snow but yet being inside and warm and cozy right. I and bet that feels great. Yeah and it and, you know and it, it's a full screen so and, and we've done and if you've seen just even going into the parade of homes the aspect of a lot of screen porches, a lot of fires on the uh, fireplaces on the screen porches. We're doing a lot of in-floor heating on porches oh, yeah. to help extend that mm -hmm. kind of comfort factor. So there's a lot of things that our people have really been doing to use the exterior and extend the time mm -hmm. that you can use it. Talk about like a crossover, being able to have that space in the summer that you use yeah. well and use frequently and then Carry it over to winter and yeah. have it be warm and cozy, even though it's yeah. snowy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we think of this sooner? I mean, yeah. <laughs> why is it just now that we're kind of starting to get? Uh, there? You and I, he's on top. Well, of yeah, it. you're on top. Of it, I guess that's why you do what you do. That's right. <laughs> so you know, you as I look around your store here, you've got such a variety of different items. Um, where do you get some of this stuff? Like, what are your resources for finding, you know, the fabric and the on furniture and so forth? Um, well, we do a lot of, you know, obviously uh, sourcing, outsourcing uh, um, different shows and things at uh, um, uh, High Point Market, you know, some of the big national shows. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a constant hunt. Um, and the internet with a lot of things too. It's mm -hmm. like what we all do now, sourcing on the internet. Um, working with uh, local uh, reps, most of our reps are out of Chicago and Minneapolis. And um, you know, kind of picking and choosing of things you know, that that we feel is unique and that our clients are looking for. So it's a constant hunt. You really have to be on top of it and what's out there in the yeah. marketplace, mm -hmm. and and going and going to these shows and, and knowing what's online. And yeah, we're it's, glad a constant, you do that. it's a constant. You've got it's the a, eye. Yeah. It's a constant uh, 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 process. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing some of that with us today. Thanks for yep. having us here in your space. We okay. appreciate it. Come see Doug here at Xander's Interiors and their fabulous team. Thanks for joining us today for Wisconsin Family. Please join us next time. Every day is a new beginning. Shine your light. It's a day and the world.